there's something about running because it's so difficult because it requires so much of your concentration because it's something that you set out to do in the beginning because because it's something that you set out to do in the beginning then when you start doing it you instantly regret uh your decision to go outside and then throughout the process throughout the entirety of the of the run you're having to convince yourself that it's going to be okay that you're going to get through this that it's only a mile left two miles left three miles left just go down the end of the road. Just um, run up to that. Just run until you get to the bus stop and see how you feel. Run up to get to get to that blue car. You're constantly convincing yourself to keep going, keep going, keep going. And I think once you finally hit your mark and you've hit the miles that you want to hit, you suddenly sit there and you think, wow, it wasn't that difficult at all, was it? It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. And it's like, if I can do this, if I can get over this little hump, if this can be something that I can combat is this something that i can um, negotiate with my mind and come to a realization that you know it's going to be fine i'm going to be all right then what about everything else that's going on in my life so i think um that's essentially why i like run that's essentially like why i like to go out for long periods of the time especially in the morning um to kind of get your day started and kind of go from there it probably isn't the best um thing to do especially if you work in nine to five to go out and run this long in the morning because I you know you're going to be completely tired. Like I'm really, really knackered right now. But if anything, it might help with your work because then you end up just sitting there and working only. You don't really want to move. You don't want to get up a million times and go to the kitchen and get a coffee and stuff. You just want to sit there and flip in, you know, and recover as much as you can. So that's essentially what I did this morning. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I ran a lot quicker than I have done in the previous in the previous weeks. Um, I think the last couple of weeks that I did a five mile run, I think I did it, uh, let me check my time, but I think I did it in 44 minutes or something like that. And today was 41 or 43, which was pretty good. I would say it was 43 actually. The last time I did it, I did it, um, I did a five mile run on Wednesday, last week, Wednesday. I got it, I did it in 43 minutes and 38 seconds. And then again, when I did it the next time, the, the following Friday, I did it in 45 minutes and 30 seconds. And today, this morning, I did it in 43 minutes, 21 seconds. But mostly the reason why I ran this fast was because I had my phone in my hand. So I was looking at the my times and how quickly I was running. Whenever I dropped down to, whenever I, my um, average pace dropped or started to get a really, really high, um, I would then start running uh, quickly so then I could reduce my average um, run time, essentially. So I wasn't really you know, running um, super, super fucked up or weird. But that's essentially what I did this morning, man. It felt pretty good. It felt like um, it felt like a good time. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. It felt like a fucking fucking good time, running around Stratford, running around all over East London, and finally getting that running. Um, talking about running, I think I've had a bit of a change of heart in terms of my um Hackney Half Marathon. I'm probably not at the adequate level of fitness that I need in order to kind of run it um the way I want to run it. And I was kind of looking at my motivations of why I'm actually trying to run it, and most of my motivations for running it had to do with just you know showing off. Um, because you know essentially the Hackney Half Marathon is essentially like the um, it's the Coachella for runners in East London right it's our it's our little mini festival it's a time to kind of show out it's when all the hipsters come out all the cool kids all the scene kids all the culture kids um and it's that kind of way again it's a kind of way to show out and show people oh look remember that's that guy that we see out and about at mixed garage or at the yard or hanging around at White Post Cafe. Look, this is the guy that's now running this half marathon. So the motivation wasn't really coming from a real place. It was coming from a kind of an ego of me trying to show off and show people that I can run and what I can do. And it's, if I'm completely honest as well, part of me was kind of a bit annoyed that I would have to run underneath someone's name. I haven't done that before. I've always been able to run under my own name, essentially. You register for a race and then you just get sent a chip pack and it's got your surname on it and it's got your own details on it. So you can kind of have like a, a, a nice Rolodex and history of all the races that you've done, um, stored and stuff like that. But it, with this sort of race, I'd have to run under someone else's name because all the tickets are sold out. So that's something I wasn't really looking forward to doing. Um, but again, by and large, most of the reason why I think my motivations for it weren't really uh, the right thing I wanted to do. So I'm going to not do the Hackney Half Marathon this Sunday. I'm going to continue running and training and what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue training with the with under the requisite um following the same sort of like training program that I have what's that book this one here following the same sort of training program I have in this book called the unbreakable runner I'm going to continue using this right to run with uh, let's put it over there I'm going to continue to use this to run with but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow it um the same sort of way that I've been following my the training plan before and then have a half marathon I'm going to do, essentially. Um, hopefully, whenever the training plan ends. Or maybe I'll start with a 5K. Maybe I'll start with a 5K, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Let's say we start with a 5K, go 10K, and then go walk my way up. So I'll start with a 5K. I'm already at that five-mile pace, sort of like running style, whatever it may be. 
So maybe I will start from like, I don't know, week two or week three of that course and then kind of progress my way off around it. As you can see, there's all the, the weeks kind of laid out there, right? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use this plan. I'm gonna just spec it out, and then whenever wherever the race kind of lines up to my actual training plan, because I think it's like a twelve week plan, the actual race um, training plan itself. No, it's nine week plan. Nine week plan with the race being on the final week of nine. Um, so I'm gonna do that and use that as a plan going forward. But again, um, I think it's important to know what your motivations are when you're going into things. It's not always the best thing just to kind of jump into it for the sake of it. And I guess, like I said before, I think I was just doing it just to show off and seem like I was cool. So um, now that I've kind of got things into line and I'm kind of a bit more settled down, I'm not panicking and I'm just, you know, trying to figure out how to go about things I want to do. Maybe best to kind of uh, recalibrate when I'm going to run, how I'm going to run and go from there really for the most part. That's my essentially my plan. Um, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. But it's still going to be hard to train. It's not going to be easy. For instance, today I did what I did a run. Tomorrow I'm going to do 800 meters relays, um, sprints around the track that I did usually before. Then Friday CrossFit, Saturday CrossFit, and then Sunday I'm going to do a 5k at 80 mile, 80 at 80 percent of my 80 percent of the added, 80 percent of added one mile time trial pace. It says here I have to do a 5k at 80 percent of the added one mile time trial pace. Two minute, two mile, 80 percent. That's what that means. Okay, whatever. We'll just do that anyway on Friday. But yeah, that's actually what my plan is, brothers. Um.